what are some of the mistakes that you see uh, many designers make especially when they are starting their career and you think if they avoid these mistakes they can do great um i don't know if i'd call it a mistake um but it certainly is a pattern and, and it's a hard one to break because i mean i was the same way okay <laughs> what i'm going to describe to you um i was certainly guilty of like a lot of things if you do anything long enough and if you live long enough um you learn some things and you learn most of them the hard way. What I see an awful lot of is it's two things in general. Number one, a lot of young designers and UXers in particular want concrete examples for everything. They want an exact scenario that fits their situation, right? I want an apples to apples example of how that works you know, for this type of client in this type of situation. And can you just walk me through that process, a step-by-step, -step, whatever. I need exercises. I need examples. And, and you don't, okay? You're waiting for something that is never, A, never going to come. There's no such thing as a silver bullet. There is no one answer to any UX question or design question or design problem. Um, it's not going to come, number one. Number two, your situation is your situation. And no other situation is like that. So all you're doing when you're looking at an example of something is you're seeing someone else's solution to someone else's problem. Now, I didn't invent that phrase, but I love it. I read it somewhere and I went, that's brilliant. <laughs> I have to start using that. Um, but it's true, okay? What needs to happen is you need to develop the courage to go forward and take a step and try something even if you feel like you don't know what you're doing. Like one of the things I say all the time is feel the fear, do it anyway. Yeah. You're not gonna be fearless. You're not gonna be 100% confident. You're never gonna feel like I absolutely know the answer to this. That's kind of the gig. That's, that's the job that we have to find out, all right? And the only way you find out is by trying things. So that's the first thing is, is I think, new designers, new UXers have a tendency to sit on their hands until they get a perfect example that exactly fits their situation. Nothing good happens while you're waiting. Okay. You, you got to try something. That's the first thing. The second thing goes back to kind of what we already talked about. So I won't belabor it, but it's, it's this, for lack of a better way to say it, it it's complaining, <laughs> right? They won't let me, they don't understand. Um, nobody will hire me, recruiters, hiring managers, bosses, um, product owners, product managers, developers, all, all this, this need to point fingers and say, well, it's, it's their fault and they're this and they won't let me do this and they're keeping me from doing this. As, as recently as a couple of days ago, I said to somebody who was going down this path and I wasn't getting anywhere with them trying to, trying to convince them, look, just believe in yourself, believe in your ability, go forward. You can do it, all right? It's, I know it's tough, but you can do it. You'll, you'll get there, you gotta be patient. Um, and it wasn't going anywhere. He just kept coming back with, yeah, but blah, 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 blah. And finally I said, look, I don't know what else to say to you except this. Of all the things um, that have held me back in my life and my career, None of them were other people. None of them were outside circumstances. None of them were things outside my control. At the end of the day, the only thing that ever held me back was me. That's not an easy truth, but it's the truth. Okay, so you can either expend all your energy into anger and frustration and complaining and, and whatever, um, or, or, or you can try to move past that and just try to keep pushing forward until you understand how whatever this is works, you know? So those are, the, those are the two things to me that I see most often. And I get it. I want you to understand. I sympathize um, because I know what it feels like. I know how much it hurts. I know how frustrating it is. Um, I really, really do. I, I understand that. But it's just like when you have kids, you want to spare them the, to, to, the learning of the same hard lessons that you had to learn the hard way. You want to give them the answer and say, no, no, no. If you just do this, it'll be okay. But there's a component, you know, where, I mean, maybe everybody has to learn for themselves and that's just the way it is. But um, in the meantime, I just, I, I, I try to help. <laughs> I try to help as much as I can um, with those things and, and hopefully 
you know, maybe it'll help somebody. These are the lessons that um, we learn earlier. It would be better for us, especially the complaining part. I understand been there and <laughs> done that. And there are times when still, you know, you are not productive. Um, some client has said something, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, how you're feeling about it, ultimately, it's your own responsibility to feel good or bad about it. Absolutely.